I'm actually looking at Ego and I'm like with it. Yeah, so I spent all my time like studying this thing and now I can actually like play around with it with it fits me. I just figured out how to do this today. Um, so all I'm doing it is I'm doing it in Chimera X. So I've been talking about Pymal. Uh, Pymera X is a different version and I figured out, um, I saw this video where they're describing how you could do this. Um, so I'm just using like my webcam and I have um, my protein here. Um, and I can do all the different things with my protein and then I can actually point out stuff. See, I found a new um, use for lab tape um, because it ha it's set so that anything green is going to be like in front and then like anything like not green is going to be behind. So right now when I'm pointing, it's like behind. But if I point like this, it's in front. So like in the video they were doing with a Sharpie, um, but I was having some like weird effects. Plus it's easier to just use a finger. Um, so yeah, so lab tape for the win. You can also change the um, color it'll set and stuff. Um, so yeah, so when you do that, you can then like point out like, so this is Argonaut. Um, it's this protein I study. Um, it has this RNA running through it. Um, so here you're looking, it's kind of still getting used to it. Um, here you're looking at the five prime end and it wends its way through Argonaut to this three prime end. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I literally just discovered this this morning. It's three prime end. Um, and you can like point out different things and do all this stuff. And it's like I'm actually with Argonaut. It's so cool. I can like, oh, okay, I need to like special effects it. Oh, wait, wait, wrong direction. Okay. Wait, I'm, I'm not very familiar with Camera X. Okay, ready? Okay, one, two, three. Let's push it. Ooh. Oh. Push it. Push it to the limits. Limits because we're in it. I'm proficient in Camera X and I am in Pymal. And I'm not like an expert in Pymal. Um, and I haven't used Chimera X in a while. I used it a while ago. Um, but basically you can see here the overview is um, pretty different. The command that you're going to want for the webcam is literally webcam. If you, and it'll like turn on. Well, right now it's already on. Um, but and I don't really know. Um, so I'm guessing I can do like the webcam off. Oh, um, and so I could also if I like so right here on here instead this is like my list so it gives like everything a name so these are the same three structures that I was showing you before I have these like hidden on and off um, so you can see the structure with just the guy or, oops, see now I turned off the webcam now I have on the webcam um, so 4F3T this is Argonaut bound to just the guide microRNA and then I can show that when you bind to like a short target the seed region so that like part running through it um, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out where my finger is in response to everything, but it, it starts um, binding and then this region opens up and then you get a bigger change um, when you have like the tar um, like seed and complementary um, supplementary pairing and so now you can see there's those like this first helix there and then a second helix there and this like supplementary pocket and I told you more about that yesterday. I'm not going to bore you with it again. Um, but my point here was just to show you like the webcam stuff um, and so yeah so you can then toggle it on and off so if I just want to show you with the normal background and I can toggle it on um, and so you can do this with like any protein or anything um, if you have like virtual like augmented reality glasses type stuff there's also stuff you can do with that um, and I'm not going to go into it because I don't know um, but they have a really nice like built-in health feature like Chimera X um, and so like yeah so I found there's like this color list and there's all sorts of stuff and so like each thing is going to be like a chain down here um, so like 4F3T you can see it has like 1A which is the protein so if I select this um, I can then color it this way or I can do like um, color and this was number 1A um, and then I went and I labeled it the color that I chose from this chart or whatever um, but yeah you really just have to play around with all these different settings there's a lot of like preset settings and a lot of things and yeah like I said I'm really not a Chimera X expert I just think this is a really cool feature um, and this is like a totally free software as well um, and yeah so you can do this and I'm just like using quick time to record my screen um, and so before I was just doing like a screen capture to do that part of the screen um, but you can just do it for like the entire screen like now what I'm showing you um, and so yeah so they have this great um, they have a great like built-in help thing um, if you need anything um, with that and then there's like tools and stuff like basically yeah 
basically I don't really know how to use it that well. Um, I've used it a little, but not greatly. They have some like presets, so if you want to try out different presets, um, um, then they have like a user guide, a quick start um, guide. So the quick start guide is really helpful. They have a bunch of um, like tutorials and that sort of thing. And I'll also um, link you to the video, the tutorials on the, um, on the um, like virtual reality and augmented reality. So I learned about it through this like SB grade consortium talk um, by Tom Goddard of the University of California, San Francisco, so UCSF, which is where Chimera X is um, based out of. And so he showed how you could do it um, both this way and then also like with the virtual reality, um, he did things a lot better. Um, but you can also do like virtual reality, so like where you have, or like, yeah, where you have like a headset and like hand control things, um, but yeah, I don't have a headset and hand control things and all the fancy stuff, but then he showed us how we could do some, the thing I showed you now, which is where you use the webcam to like have yourself in a video with the molecule that you love, um, so it's really cool, and yeah, I'll link to this video, um, so yeah, SB Grid Consortium, they, um, like a structural biology group, and they have a bunch of, they do like weekly seminars, and they have a bunch of really great videos um, that I encourage you to check out if you're interested in that sort of thing. And then you can download um, Chimera X. They have like a quick start guide, tutorials, and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so so Chimera X is another good alternative um, for Pymol for like molecular um, movie and make, making and that sort of thing. And it's really great for cryo EM, so cryo electron microscopy. Um, and so yeah, and so then if you're and as always, you can find um, protein structures. In the PDB, so the protein data bank, um, you can search by protein of interest or just um, browse, choose the molecule of the month, anything you want like that. And then you can just, um, in Chimera, the tool for is like open. So I did open, and then you type in the PDB code and it'll open it. Um, the alignment's a little different as well. like. I use for this I use like match number three to number one like because it's by like ID number or whatever so I'm not going to try to like tell you how to do things because I'm probably doing it like not the most the best way or whatever so like look at the tutorials like the quick start guides um this is just to like show you that you can do cool things and play with your molecule um and you can make special effects but you're doing it with all your other trackpad so I can like pretend like I'm squishing ego eh, but I have to like figure out the spacing right um like just like a um trick of the mind type of thing but yeah um so yeah um, all right i had to make it smaller oh no wait uh, yeah i'm still getting used to this obviously oh okay there we go kind of okay yeah i love ego and i thought this was really cool that you could play with it and i just discovered it this morning and now I get to get back to work. Um, so yeah, have fun playing. <laughs>